While we're here, let's do some structures of the larynx. So if we're looking at the larynx, we can see a couple pieces that are quite evident here. The first one being the presence of the epiglottis. So the epiglottis is the rostral most cartilage of the larynx. We also see this piece of cartilage, which is going to be the thyroid cartilage. We see this Y-shaped piece of cartilage, which is the cuneiform process of the arytenoid. We see this piece that's coming dorsally here, looking like a goat's horn, which is gonna be the corniculate process. And finally, we have the remainder of the arytenoid with the vocal process right here on the ventral aspect. At this region, we can see the presence of the laryngeal ventricle, so the opening of the larynx, with the vestibular fold being the rostral fold and the vocal fold being the caudal fold that creates the laryngeal ventricle. Now, if you are to remove the mucosa from this area, this is where you would find the presence of the vocalis muscle. Here we can actually see a piece of that muscle from the side that has been cut here. This is actually the vocalis muscle that would be deep to the mucosa of that vocal fold. Finally, we can see this ventral piece of cartilage, which is quite narrow, and then this dorsal piece of cartilage, which is very broad. Those are actually both pieces of the cricoid cartilage with the wide dorsal lamina and the narrow ventral arch. It's in this region that if we flip the larynx over, again, we can see that cricothyroid muscle, and we can also see our cricoarytenoideus dorsalis, which is present and attaching to the dorsal lamina, slinging from the dorsal lamina and moving over and attaching to the muscular tubercle of the arytenoid. So this cricoarytenoideus dorsalis can also be seen right here. This muscle, along with the vast majority of other muscles of the larynx, are innervated by the caudal laryngeal nerve, which is the terminal branch of the recurrent laryngeal nerve. That we can see here, running up the trachea and diving into the larynx. So this is the recurrent laryngeal nerve that then terminates as the caudal laryngeal nerve. Now, the other laryngeal muscle that is not, or the only laryngeal muscle that is not innervated by the caudal laryngeal nerve is the cricothyroid muscle. The cricothyroid muscle is actually innervated by the cranial laryngeal nerve. Both the cranial laryngeal nerve as well as the recurrent laryngeal nerve and consequently caudal laryngeal nerve are all branches of the vagus nerve.